Hey folks, Johnny here, and today we are going to be unboxing the magnificent, the terrifying, and the beautiful Abyssal Dwarf Fleet for Armada. No better place to start than the starter set. You have a look on the back of the box here, you'll see we get some fantastic, beautiful models. You get free resin models in the starter set. You get the Infernox, you get the Ankor, and you get the Katsushat. You also get all the cards you need to play with this fleet. So let's crack this open. And you'll see lots of lovely bubble wrapped miniatures. Keep them all nice and safe. This is the Ankor. This is a medium sized ship, I believe. Excuse the sound of bubble wrap. It's going to be a nightmare to edit. So, there we go. If I just pop that up to the screen, you'll see that these are very, very nice. Lots of detail. Fantastic big uh, gribbly mortar at the top there. And then you've got the, uh, the sort of steam power wheels at the back there that uh, they fix on into just about make out there on that lug there. And all your little extras. And then this piece here is your back of the boat or the, the aft, I believe, if you're uh, more nautically minded. I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll just pop those to one side and I'll show you the studio painted version so you can get a, a proper eye for what it looks like once it's painted. See that uh, they've done an absolutely fantastic job of painting this. Really, really nice, crisp detail. The great thing about, uh, about using resins is you can get some really nice detail and makes them really nice to paint as well. So that's the Ankor. And dip back into my box. Like a lucky dip, I've got the Katsushan. This is a small. I see there. Cute little ditty boat. There's its little extras there, the front of the boat there, and uh, some big chimney stacks. Always nice to have those sort of things as, a, as an extra, it makes casting a lot easier and uh, less chance of damage in uh, the packaging and the shipping process as well. And here he is in all his glory. Just try and hold that up so you can see it nicely. Really fun, thematic ships, these. Based on the the weapons that uh, they have in regular Kings of War, you know, familiar, familiar with the uh, Katsushan launcher. It's basically, they've, they've strapped a big version of that onto uh, onto the front of a boat. Nothing more terrifying than a harpoon coming at you uh, from a, a boat that's going to be strong enough to uh, to drag, definitely drag you and, and uh, bring you closer into uh, melee combat. And then lastly in this starter set we have the Infernox. There we have the Infernox. Brilliantly characterful. This is probably one of my favourites in terms of uh, its design, its aesthetics, and great big demonic skull on the front there. And then you've got the uh, side pieces here as well. Really lovely. Uh, you can see, if I can uh, get it to focus, you'll see the detail in uh, all those cogs and gears. And then let me take a look at the painted version. Really uh, stunning paint job on these ones with all the, uh, the bone features. Really nice. So that's your starter set, but always need more boats. That's where the booster fleet comes in. On the booster fleet, or in the booster fleet, should I say, you get a second anchor, 
you get a decimator and you get two black souls. Crack these open and have a look. We've seen the anchor already, so I'll put that to one side. And um, let's jump straight in with the decimator. There we have the decimator. Again, really nice and crisp, all these wonderful big uh, petrol flame uh, uh, explosive canisters on the uh, on the top here. As the name suggests, and as the design suggests, it's going to be spewing fire out left, right, and centre. These incredibly sort of runic looking side pieces on this uh, this model might show it better on the uh, the painted one and then uh, another little demonic head there there we go really uh, pops does this model when all those uh, canisters are painted red like that and you see what i mean about uh, all these wonderful runic details here Really lovely model. So then, onto the Black Souls. There's two of these in the booster set. Again, like the Cats of Shandies are small, so they're great for, for nipping in. There's a, another little uh, demonic head on the front of that one. More exhausts. And here, you will see it in action, or is it painted, should I say? I really love the, uh, the metallic work that has been done on these. It's just that sort of right level of grimy enough, but not shiny enough, if that makes sense. It's sort of a really nice balance between shiny metal and grimy, give that sort of proper abyssal feel to them. So I've shown you Small ships, I've shown you medium ships. We want a big ship really, don't we? That's where the Hellfane comes in. This is a large, you can see there on the back, it's got two different uh, assembly options. You can build the Hellfane or you can build the Arbiter. So two different options play very differently within the game and you get the two different cards to uh, represent that as well. Quite the, uh, the chunky fella, this one. Even by dwarven standards. So you see this sort of uh, recess, this void in the middle here that allows you to insert the sections for the Hellfane. Oh, nice flames and very similar sort of aesthetic to the, the Hellfane in Kings of War. And you've also got your section to make it the Arbiter there as well. Big old chimney stacks. And then this is the... Uh, uh, wait, get my boat the right way around. This is the back of the boat. This is the aft. So that sits like so. There you go. So you see the full, full length of it there. If I get you the painted version, See there, and it's got lots of lots of detail, lots of really nice areas to paint. You know, you've got these great dynamic, characterful guys on the back here. And then I'll show you by popping these two pieces out. You can then also pop in to create the Arbiter there. And the great thing about this one is you, it is easy to just slot them in and out. So you can paint it up as both and uh, and swap it out depending on what games you want to play as, and uh, what uh, ships you want to take. You could always pop a little magnet in there as well for a bit more security, but they're, they're pretty uh, pretty sturdy in there. And that gives you, uh, gives you a second option there. You'll have also seen that they are flyers for the Abyssal Dwarves as well. I'll just bob those up on screen for you now and you can see the uh, the worm has made a triumphant return and bought some gargoyles with it as well. So I suppose you're all chomping at the bit to be Abyssal Dwarf 
uh, sailors now. These are up for pre-order. They're going to be out very, very soon as well. And more importantly, make sure to like and subscribe and drop a comment in this very video explaining why you should be the next Abyssal Dwarf Sailor. And you can then win a complete Abyssal Dwarf set, the one that you've just seen unboxed here. So we're talking a starter fleet, a boost fleet, a health fleet, and the flyers all coming to you. So make sure that you take part in that competition, tell your friends, and uh, we will see you on the high seas of Panafort.